Hey everyone, my name is Riley and in this video I will be showing you how you can connect your own custom domain to system.io. So the first thing that we need to do is go over to system.io and once we are here on the dashboard, just go to your profile icon in this top right corner and click right here into settings. In the settings area, we then want to go down and on this left hand side, you should be able to see custom domains. So just click into this and then this should just be a basic domain. So this should be your system.io domain. And then to add a new domain, we want to click on add domain in this top right corner. From here, it's then going to ask us for the domain name that we would like to connect. So we can enter the domain name in right here. I'm going to go for my domain, which is rileyholden.com. And then we can click on save. Once you do that, it's then going to bring us over to this area where it says DNS configuration for your domain. And it gives us this information right here. Now, this step is going to be slightly different depending on which domain provider you are with, whether you are on Hostinger, GoDaddy, Namecheap, any of these other options. And if you do need to actually buy a domain, then I will leave a link for Namecheap in the description where you can go ahead and claim a discount. But either way, no matter what domain provider you are on, you essentially want to find the domain that we are connecting, so rileyholden.com, and click on manage on this domain. And this is going to take you into the back end settings of that domain. Once we are in the back end of this domain, we then want to go to advanced DNS or the DNS settings of whichever provider you are with. And then in here, we can see under host records, we already have some host records in here. So if you don't, then fantastic. If we already have some host records like I do, we want to go ahead and delete these. So just delete these host records. And now we need to add the host records that it says right here. So we can go in and add a new record and it's going to ask what type of record do we want to add? So this first one is going to be, as it says right here, CNAME. So we set this to CNAME. Then for the host, we want to go here. And from this first bit of information, we just want to grab www. And then we can copy and paste that into here. And then for the target, we just want to go over and copy this end bit of data. Then we can paste that in right there and click on check. So that is the first part added. Now we need to do the same for this one. So with this one, we go in and add a new record. Once again, this is telling us to point this to CNAME. So we go in and we want to add a CNAME record. Then for this one, we want to grab this entire link right here apart from this dot at the end. So we copy this and we paste this into the host. Then we go back. And once again, the target is going to be just as easy. We do all of this without the full stop at the end. And then once we have both of these in, we just check them off and they are now added. So with that being said, we should now have this set up. However, it's still going to say pending validation, even if we did set this up correctly. So to check if this is actually connected and we did this correctly, we just go to show instructions and learn how to set up a custom domain. And it's going to take us over to this page. So we just want to scroll down and you should see a link right here for dnschecker.org. So we click into this and then all we are going to do is enter the domain up here. So I'll go www.rileyholden.com and search. As soon as you see just one single check mark, even if all of these are crossed off, as soon as we have one single check mark, you set this up correctly. And then the rest of these are slowly going to turn to check marks as your domain propagates. So we now have this on system.io and we now have this all set up. So that is how you can connect your domain to system.io. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.